It is always great catching up with my next guest, Lotion Kata, who's going to be back in action, fighting at featherweight, coming up here against Samuel Bark, Octagon 39 in Munich, February 11th. Lotion, how are you, man? Yeah, I'm doing good, are you? I'm doing great. It's good to see you back in action and in a new weight class. I know you've got a lot of ambitions, uh, both holding the lightweight title and now going for featherweight gold. Um, but I wanted to start first with the fact that we haven't seen you in a while, at least not in an MMA fight since June. You had the Muay Thai fight in December. Why haven't we seen you in the MMA cage in so long? Uh, because I didn't have an opponent. Uh, opponent. I was waiting for somebody. I was waiting to defend my title. And like I was waiting to fight for the featherweight title also. And I didn't have nobody. Okay. It's as simple as that. Were you surprised to see? Because I'm sure there were fighters that didn't want to fight you. I'm sure you've had a bit of that too. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, like, I don't, I don't have fight, fighters in mind. I just wait from Octagon to give me fighters. You know, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't choose fighters. I just gave me. They gave me one fighter uh, because I thought I, thought I can fight for the, for the Federal title direct. Uh, direct mm -hmm. And they gave me Ahmed Villa. And that guy was like one fighter in Octagon. He was... And he was like, at that time, he was like, I think, seven, five or seven, six like that. And I didn't want that guy. I say, why give me somebody like he was, he was number seven in the ranking of Octagon. Yeah. And they gave me with a record of seven, five, seven, six. I say, beating this guy would mean nothing to me. Like, every, nobody was hyped for that fight. So I didn't want that fight. Yeah, no, no, I get it, man. You've got you've got a great record here. Um, now, you know, you're you fought as heavy as welterweight before. You're fighting at featherweight. Um, is it just because you want to get another belt? Is it because you can't get opponents, or is it all of the above as far as you making this move? No, uh, like I think for me, I'm 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 a, I'm a real featherweight because I walk around 74, 73. Okay. You no, know, like yeah, I was fight, I was fighting in uh, in welterweight. I was working around 77. Yeah, sorry, I was working around 74, you know? Right. So I was never a real welterweight uh, to begin with. And uh, lightweight, I was only cutting like... I never I, I never did diet a lightweight. Never. Yeah. Oh, lightweight. interesting. I, I was eating everything, relaxed, and just day before the fight, I cut like 3 kilo, 4 kilo, just like that. That's so crazy. Never, I think I'm a, I'm a real feather, featherweight, you know? going through this process and getting down to 145 is this something you wish you would have done earlier in your career i mean you're undefeated but still is that something you kind of think hey maybe i should have always been in this weight class uh yeah i don't i don't, I don't know about that because things well, things uh when i was built away things things was going well for me there like yeah. also so maybe if if it will be difficult or something like that i can say yeah i should do that early but like, like now think us think it's like who there who there is so i don't know um, how's the process been? What have you changed in terms of your diet or strength and conditioning to help you get down to 145? What are some changes that you've made? Uh, yeah, only diet, only diet. I, I don't change uh, nothing. My training still the same. The only thing uh, is new now is diet. You know, like I never do diet before. Like even like <laughs> the day that I was uh, somebody like the day before before fight, I was eating French fries. Okay. Was eating, you know things like that. I was I was. Yeah, I was going to the McDonald's, you know. So yeah, I and th yeah, that, which I'm is crazy because you have such a good record, and you, you know, you weren't even eating well, and and you've already had all this success, isn't that? That's, yeah. that's pretty amazing. Yeah, and at at uh, at at uh, at seventy, also I had the same. I I was not eating McDonald's before the fight, but like in the and during the camp, I didn't I didn't care what I was what, what, what I was eating. I even like cola, Fanta. I was drinking that things of the, like now like. Now it's like uh, it's, it's been one month. I didn't drink like I drink cola zero, zero sometimes, but real cola. So now I feel I feel more disciplined, and yeah, I feel more energy. So I think that uh, this uh, this weight is my is my good weight. So if I had to guess, you're not really eating any processed foods or no soda. Like what are you eating right now? Uh, like now I'm drinking like water and um, cook water, you know, uh, things like that, and you know, yeah, pray pray uh, pray uh, pray food and things like that. So yeah. Okay, yeah, so the, stuff that say, yeah, stuff that you're supposed to eat, right? Uh, not not the yeah. bad stuff, which is good. Now I can see now I feel like a real fight. You know? <laughs> yes, no, no, for sure, for sure, I get it. And and what um what's something you really miss having right now? Is it cola? What what are what's something you wish you could have to to eat right now that you can't? Tell you the truth, everything. Like I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> not I'm not yeah like everything. I'm not a guy who think like I don't eat I don't like pizza that much. You know, I'm not a guy who who can sit thinking oh, oh I want to eat pizza now, but like. Today I was training, I think about pizza, you know, things like that. Like, 
Like, uh, I don't know. I, give me, I want everything now. Yeah. No, the reason I bring it up is I actually just did, oh, I'm still doing it. Uh, I've just been eating animal base for the last month and I've lost a bunch of weight and I, it's, I, I do miss eating. I haven't had a pizza. I haven't had a drink of alcohol in like a whole month. So I just know how much better I feel. You must notice that as well. Like in your training, yeah, I, you must feel a lot different now. Yeah. Like I, 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 I sleep well, uh, like, uh, before, before when I, when I was not eating good, I, it was a little bit difficult for me to fall asleep. So sometimes I was awake until five, you know? Yeah. Until five in the morning, you know, five in the morning, six in the morning. Now I sleep better, and also I have energy, and I have a lot of energy during the day. So yeah, for me, it's it's very good. It's very good. Even even on like my punches are coming fast. I'm sharper. Uh, yeah, you can ask my 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 batsman about that. <laughs> yes, yeah. Let's, let's take your word for it on that. Uh, let's talk about your opponent here, uh, Samuel Bark, eight and one record. How do you feel like you match up against him style wise? Style wise, I think uh, you know like. If you say Star Wars, I think I'm better. I think I'm better. Like he have more more, more advantage because he been in the game longer. Even he, even he was not MMA, but fighting he been doing that longer. He been in Thailand. He be fighting like every week, you know. But Star Wars, like I say, I, I I'm not ready to lose yet. I'm not I'm not ready to even because he's he, he's a great name, you know. He's a great name, more Thai legend, and now coming to MMA, uh, eight and one record, fighting everybody, fighting like. It, 2022, he, he fight eight times, you know, which is yeah. crazy. A lot of respect for that. Even so, yeah, beating somebody like that, you know, is, yeah. What about training partners? Who have been some of the main guys helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, yeah, like I have always the same training partners. A uh, lot of amateur guys I uh, spar with. And for, I, I went to Paris MMA factory for one week. Uh, for oh, one cool. Week to, okay. Yeah. Uh, to train with uh, to spar with uh, pros, so they helped me also a lot. And I was tra I was training with uh, 66 kilos, and I feel to tell you the truth, I feel a lot of lot of power difference, like in wrestling and clinching, and so yeah, I think that weight is really my weight, you know. So because I, I like like when I was fighting 77, I can also pick these guys up. Now 66, it's easier for me to pick them up. So yeah. That's great. Yeah. Did, did, when you were at MMA Factory, did you get to see, uh, you know, obviously Fernand Lopez is there. You yeah. had Nasruddin Imovov, Cyril Gan. Yeah. Were, any, were any of them there? Did you get to see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice guy. Cyril Gan also a guy with respect. Uh, Nasruddin also a very good guy. And uh, uh, Fernand gave me a lot of attention. So, yeah, I was happy to be there. Do you see yourself going there again in the future just to maybe, you know, learn <laughs> a few things? Because it's, it's a premier camp over there, right? Yeah, it's the, it's the, second, time, it's the second time I go there, like... Um, when I, when I was there, uh, the first time I went there for one week also, it was uh, to prepare for for uh, for for Bushinger. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. At first, first, I, I, first, uh, I didn't know not know much about and my factory. I wanted to go to Ash Academy to train with Saladin Pernas because he he also beat uh, Bushinger, so I wanted to learn to go him, there. Yeah. But yeah. that time Saladin Pernas was was not in town, so I went to my factory and I met one good friend there. Uh, Lapunis, Damien Lapunis. So yeah, since then uh, we've been talking. So I went there like every fight I have, I go there to spar. That's excellent. That, that's great. Um, who's gonna be in your corner for this fight? Uh, like always, like um, my 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 coaches, uh, Yunus, Steven, and King. Normally Imani, but normally we are four. But normally I'm supposed I'm fighting for the title, so it's four. But now it's gonna be three. So Imani gonna watch in public. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out on February 11th? Uh, it's gonna be like if I, I'm gonna lie if I if I say it's gonna be like easy fight like I never expect easy fight you know I'm not I'm not that gonna guy uh, uh, yeah yeah it's gonna be easy fight because I don't like surprising fight you know I want to be ready for everything so like in my head in my head like every opponent in my head are are, are gonna be my 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 best opponent you know yeah. it's not only about Samuel Bark even after Samuel Bark the opponent will also be my next opponent so yeah. I'm ready for a hard fight. Uh, like I don't, I don't have special training for this fight. Like I don't have wrestling training, grappling training, like nothing because summer bike it can surprise me also with wrestling. You know, so every option I train hard on every part of the of the game. No surprise. A win here would be huge. You already have a great record, but that would be ten in a row. Um, that's the type of you know record that that gets a lot of attention from a lot of other promotions. I got to imagine a win here is either a title shot or uh, you're getting called to the UFC. What what do you think about a, a victory here? What what the implications would be? Uh, 
things things like that. I don't I don't, I don't really want, I don't like Sam Bark be thinking too much about UFC, but I don't talk, I don't think too much about UFC right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I just I just think about I don't even the record, you know, the record mm -hmm. I don't think about it right now because the, if I if I think too much about the record, you will be too much pressure on me. Oh, I need to get that 10, 10, 10. In mm -hmm. my head, it's zero zero. Like every fight is zero zero in my head. The only thing matter for me is just beating this guy. And then we can see, and then I was gonna say, oh, I'm not gonna think. Oh wait, I'm 10 zero now. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Wait till after the fight. That, that's that's a good way of thinking of things for sure. Okay, before we get out of here, um, aside from dieting and training and everything, what else are you uh, getting up to? Are you watching any television? Are you playing any video games? What am I getting you doing when you're not training? Uh, yeah, gaming. You know. What do you? What, I, uh, you you strike me as a FIFA guy. What what do you play? Yeah, FIFA. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, are you are you are you very good? I try, I try. Like um, I be, um like prof team. You know this. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, uh, prof team like uh, like w one team. Uh, we we are one team and uh, we are playing with friends. You know, like six of seven, uh, seven in the same team and we be playing against other oh, guys. Oh, that's cool. And we be talking to each other. It's very fun. And now I recently started to play Call of Duty. I'm not that good at it, <laughs> but I, I I try now. That's great. But I know <laughs> I know Cyril Gon plays FIFA too. You guys should play against each other sometime. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I hear I hear he's pretty good, but. Uh, Really looking forward to this card. Octagon once again putting on a great event here. It's Octagon 39 in Munich, February 11th. Uh, Losein, thank you so much for doing this. It's always good to talk to you. If there's anyone you'd like to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Uh, yeah, thank everybody who support me. Who, uh, Yeah, thank everybody who support me. Let's go. The, the journey just starts, so let's finish it. <laughs>